Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this short Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an oil paint effect. So without much ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to create three duplicates of this image. So click on your layer, hold down Command J to make a copy. We wanna click on the top layer and we want to apply a high pass so you want to go under filter and you want to go under other and choose high pass you want to make sure your radius is at two go ahead and click ok now we want to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay and then we want to merge the top layer and the second layer so hold down shift select both layers right click and go ahead and match both layers next go to filter and then you want to make sure you choose sharpen and you go to on sharpen map we want to keep the amount at 100 and we want to keep the radius at 2 and our threshold at 0 i'm going to take this to 110 and we are going to go ahead to click ok so the next thing is to add a diffuse effect so go under filter sterilize diffuse make sure that you select the mode that says anisotropic and then go ahead and click ok now we want to apply the same diffuse effect four times but each time we do it we are going to rotate our image so you want to go under image rotate 90 degrees clockwise and you want to go under filter Click on diffuse at the top because Photoshop saves your last command. So we click on it once and you can see that your image is gradually changing, is beginning to have the oil paint effect. We are going to go back to image, rotate 90 degrees clockwise and apply diffuse. Repeat that two more times. We're going to repeat it one more and we are going to apply the last effect so once you have this done the next thing we want to do is to reduce the noise so go back to filter and you want to go to noise and under noise choose reduce noise and you want to make sure that your strengthen is at 10 and everything else should be at zero Go ahead and click OK and then we want to go ahead and go back to filter and sharpen on sharpen max and we are going to apply the same effects as you can see go ahead and click OK so with this set we want to go ahead and create another duplicate of our layer so with this image we want to go ahead and apply another high pass so go under filter other high pass and we are going to keep our radius to two, click OK, and then change the blend mode overlay. So with this set, we wanna make one file. So hold down Shift Option Command E to create one file. We wanna go ahead and apply an auto tone. So go under image and then locate auto tone. Now to bump it up, we are going to add a new layer. Pick up your brush. And we are going to go ahead and add a dab of color on both sides of our image. So I'm using a red. I'm going to start off with a red and then create this dab. And then I'm going to go ahead to click and change my color to like a pinkish and create another dab here. But we want to go ahead and change the blend mode of this soft light. Now, if this is too much, you can go ahead and reduce the opacity. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, and I will see you back in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.